Hey guys, this is my 93 GMC Sierra 1500 short bed build. Um, I just got done putting all the front suspension together. Um, I got new upper lower control arms, new spindles, uh, new QA1 coilover shocks, um, not the real expensive dudes, but um, <laughs> they're pretty damn expensive anyway. Um, I kept, I uh, used the factory um, drag link. Um, those normally don't go bad. Um, so I just cleaned it up and painted it. But everything else is new besides the steering box. Um, that's original, but pitman arm, out of the arm, um, outer tie rod, inner tie rods, um, those are all new, um, new upper and lower ball joints, new um, brakes are new, front and back. Um, I did um, wire wheel the frame and coated it with Eastwood's, um, I'll show you real quick, uh, rust encapsulator stuff. Um, this is some pretty good stuff. Um, only thing I would suggest is uh, just basically get all the flaky rust off the frame. Um, I mean, there are still some indentations where the rust really started eating through but that's not going to hurt anything um and you'll never see it anyway um i did do a flip kit in the back and it's a four six drop uh from uh, djm suspension it's their kit but i did also put the uh two inch lowering spindles on it as well um I rebuilt the rear end. Um, I kept the stock gear, um, but I did go posi. Um, it's got new bearings, new uh, pinion gear. All the gears are new. All the bearings are new. Uh, the brakes in the back are new as well. Um, I s went ahead and stuck with drums in the back. Um, if, if you really know brakes, I mean, Drums are kind of a pain in the ass to change, but they work. And um, so, plus, you know, it's money too. Um, I didn't want to have to spend a bunch more money on converting it over to disc in the back and all that stuff. So, you know the deal. Um, I did C notch the frame. Um, I have started running. Uh, the new brake lines in the back. Um, leaf springs are original, um, but I did put uh, have Acme Spring in Dayton, Ohio. Um, put new bushings in there and everything. So the only thing I have left to do um, frame-wise, I am going to pop this cab and... Um, there's a section of the frame under there I still have to um, clean up and coat. But <clears throat> I am doing an LS swap um, 6 liter. Um, I did put a cam in it and I did put better heads on it. Um, I don't have all that information in front of me, but um, when I have it in front of me, I will let you guys see all that. Um, I do have a set of stainless steel, um, shorty headers on order that I found on Facebook marketplace. Um, I'm not going with long tubes, um, because what I'm going to use this truck for, um, it's basically just, uh, honestly, I'm going to drive the crap out of it. So, um, long tube headers with the, the extra cost and all that nonsense i really didn't 
see the benefits of going with the long tube headers. Um, I mean, I, I found these shorty headers for $125 stainless. So uh, that's pretty hard to beat. And I just can't see spending upwards to close to $500 on some long tube headers. Um, I know it's performance wise, it's a lot better, but uh, that's just that's just an awful lot of money for something that's going to stay on the street. So in my mind, so the uh, benefits versus the cost really didn't pan out. And as you guys know, a lot of times you <laughs> you really gotta figure out what you really have to have, and that's just it. You just gotta figure out really what you absolutely have to have and can't go without. I can go without long tube headers. Plus, <clears throat> with as low as this thing is going to be, um, shorties give me the option of really keeping that exhaust tucked up, uh, up above the frame. So with long tubes, um, that might burden me a bit. But um, this is the inside. Um, of course, it's really, really dirty. But um, I have, when I found this truck, um, it, 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 I found it local, um, and the only rust that was on this truck, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with, is right here in this area, cab corners. And the other side is fine, um, so I've already cut that out and replaced that. Um, granted, I haven't painted anything, but um, for the most, there was a section here that was bad um, right in here. Um, I cut that out, re-welded new steel in, and that is done. And I went ahead and with the floor, um, I went ahead and put that Eastwood wood, uh, encapsulator in here. And then, um, what's cool about that stuff is you can actually paint over top of it as well. So, <clears throat> I went ahead and rattle canned, painted that. Um, and two, when I get the cab popped up off of it i will if there's not that i can see now but um if there's any bad spots on the bottom edge i'll, I'll go ahead and fix all that as well um all four cab mounts are bad so um i will have to do that and i will um get footage of me doing that um but that's about it. I am. Um, so it was a step side from the factory. Uh, personal opinion, me, especially when they're on the ground, like this one is going to be, I really don't care for step sides. Um, I like step sides in like the 40s and 50s trucks. Um, but when you get into these square bodies, um, I, I really, really not that big of a fan. So I am looking for a short bed fleet side, um, 87 and 98 Chevy GMC, doesn't matter. Um, preferably black. Um, if I can't find black and then it is what it is and I'll just have to paint it. But, um, I'm trying to keep the cost down on this. So if uh, I could find black, I may be, be able to match the paint or polish the paint just to um, get it to somewhat look halfway decent. I am going to sell this um, bed. So if anybody is interested, um, give me a holler and we can strike up a deal or a trade or whatever you got. So. Let me know what you got. Uh, the motor is not here yet. Um, my buddy has the motor. There's the old motor sitting right there. Um, that is sole motor and transmission. Uh, it was just a 5.7 um, throttle body with a 4L60. Um, they are good motors. They're just turd Ferguson's, as I'm sure everybody knows. Um, it did have a lot of miles on it. I think it was 200 and 
10,000 miles, somewhere around there. I think that's what's on the odometer. But um, that's my dog being nosy. Um, but yeah, um, so this is sold. The transmission was just rebuilt before I got it. So it has a really good transmission in it, but the motor needs gone through. And whoever owned this before me did not change the oil like they should. So there's a lot of gunk and uh, build up, oil build up inside. And like if you pop the valve covers, um, it just needs cleaned out and gone through. I'm guessing uh, the oil pressure was kind of bouncing around. So I'm guessing that the uh, oil filter was probably clogged um, with all that gunk. Um, but uh, I mean, it ran. Um, <laughs> didn't run great, but it ran. But uh, one of the main reasons I um, picked up this truck was because it was pretty much rust free and an Ohio truck that's uh, pretty impressive. So, um, yeah, um, I've never done this kind of thing before, so bear with me, guys. I will get better as I go along. Um, um, I'm just recording straight off my iPhone as of right now, but um, if this uh, deal takes off, um, who knows what could happen. So, but yeah, that's the short story of it. Um, for the most part, I am uh, going to keep the interior somewhat stock. Um, it had the two captain's chairs with the center console. Um, I'm probably just going to keep that. I do have the interior. It is up in my attic. Um, I will end up putting um a little system in it um nothing crazy just probably some six uh kick panels with six and a half mids and tweets and then one or like an eight inch sub or a ten inch sub something like that um with this little cab uh it doesn't take much i have a well i'll just go ahead and show you guys i have a um 07 Silverado that uh, I've done a bunch of work to and um, I do uh, drive it a lot um, haven't done anything to the motor uh, the motor is still stock but um, it's a good looking truck paint's not perfect but um, you know it is what it is it's a uh, it's a good daily. I got some things that I'm going to do with this as well. Um, I did put a system in this. Um, just put them in the doors. And uh, I got Tweets. Um, head unit. And... Got a little box with two eights behind it and then the amps and everything are underneath the seats uh, really really nice truck um, rust free um, it's got 22 inch cadillac knockoffs on it um, four six drop spindles flip in the back c notched but I do have uh, plans to do a couple more things with this. Um, the bed, interior of the bed, um, I haven't really done anything with, but um, this fall I do have plans on, um, I'm going to paint it black. Um, and then I'll end up putting, like one of them rollback tonneau covers on it, um, something like that. Um, I have the uh, GM factory um, rear view mirrors with the turn signals in them. Um, I do not have them hooked up yet, but um, I will do that soon. Um, I just put the headlights in. Um, I have the um, fog lights. 
I have not installed those yet. Um, I got to build a harness um, or find a uh, truck in the salvage yard with fogs on it already and I could take the harness out of one of them. Something I'll do something like that more than likely. But uh, when it comes to wiring, uh, <laughs> the easier the better in my opinion. So, um, but yeah, it's a good looking truck. So I get a lot of compliments on it. Like I said, the paint's not perfect, but it's one of them 10 footers, I guess you would say, or maybe five footers. <laughs> it's It's got a couple bad spots, but no big deal. I drive it, so I drive the shit out of it, actually. Um, unless, uh, of course, I'm not gonna drive it in the winter, right? But um, I do drive it. So, and this is my daughter's little S10. Um, she's 16 now, so um, found this about 30 miles away for no rust, low miles, 70,000 miles, very clean on the inside. So um, she rides dirt bikes and stuff, so um, she needed something to throw her dirt bike in the back of, but really, really nice. It's a 2001, it's got 72,000 original miles. Um, I just did a bunch of work to it. Um, CV axles in the front for the four-wheel drive. Um, some suspension stuff, brakes, brake lines, fuel lines, and I put a new gas tank in it as well with a fuel neck. Um, you guys know how that goes with if you're familiar with these style trucks and you're living in the Rust Belt. So... I went ahead and put stainless steel lines on it. So trying to um, get her something good. It's got the 4.3 in it. Um, get her through college and all that. So um, with 70,000 miles on it, that should, uh, that should do it. But um, like I said, guys, I am new at this stuff. So um, bear with me. Um, and if you got any questions or anything like that um feel free to drop them down in the comments um but just wanted to show you the progress on this um these these trucks are pretty hot right now and uh actually my daughter's the one that gave me the idea and she was like dad why don't you just start capturing this stuff and i'm like <laughs> Yeah, well, why not? So, um, I guess that'll do it for now, guys. It's a almost 20-minute video. So, um, like I said, this is all new to me. So, um, I will get better. And uh, my name is Corey, by the way. So, feel free to uh, drop me some lines if you have any questions. And um, hopefully we can... Uh, get something going out of this so all right thanks guys have a good one